Hey guys, I'm Adrian from your motorcycle and today I'm going to show you how I bring motorcycles up a flight of stairs and into my house for the winter. Um, those of you guys who have been following me for a long time, you've seen me bring everything from like Ducati Panigales to Triumph Street Triples to all kinds of fun toys inside. Um, this is how I do it and how even if you have a flight of stairs, you guys can do it too. So I'll show you what we're dealing with. Overall height from the staircase to the uh, bottom of the door frame is about five feet. So from the bottom of that door frame to here, we have about a seven inch rise. Then we have another basically three and a half feet, a staircase going down, maybe about six feet, five feet across, and then a step. So you can build something out of wood, but that's gonna take a lot of time. I prefer to make my job a little bit easier. Uh, total cost for everything came to about 200 bucks US. Let me show you what I got. This was about 150 bucks uh, worth every penny. This is what they pull out of um, delivery trucks. We're gonna modify it to suit our purposes. Yes, it's aluminum. Yes, you can keep it outside all winter, it won't rust. Yes, it does cover 14 feet, which gets us up the staircase, which is excellent. Gets us to my doormat. But we still have this bump. And the problem I've experienced, especially with cruisers, the bike can bottom out. We don't want that to happen. So we're gonna make a second ramp to go from the end of this one to here. So most important thing we can do Grab a piece of two by six, measure what this is, cut a piece to that distance, and then cut it diagonally. Here's what I mean. This and this are the same piece of two by six that was cut diagonal. Then I just grabbed a bunch of two by four ends that I had lying around, and I just screwed them in. You can put a couple pieces across the middle for extra support. This is cut so that this rise will match here. You could maybe get away with using two by four, cutting in half if your um, step up to your door isn't as high. But for me, two by six was perfect. We're gonna have one continuous ramp from about 19 feet that way, all the way inside the house. These little feet can dig into your wood a little bit. So if you care about that kind of thing, get your mat, turn it upside down, and then put it um, underneath the feet of this. Now, depending on your perspective, we are either 100% done or 50% done. And here's what I mean. The inside of this ramp is only about two feet. Honestly, for taking little bikes like uh, Vespas, 250, 300 cc's, that's plenty of room. Um, but if you're doing something bigger, I recommend adding a little bit of a side attachment. Just makes you feel a lot safer. What you need are these little L plates. Make sure you get the really, really thick ones. Um, I'll post a link to where I got these from. They should be super thick. They should be super heavy duty. You shouldn't be able to bend these. These should be super strong. They should be rated for a lot. And then what we're gonna do, we're basically gonna attach these throughout here. And that way it's gonna support the wood planks and those are gonna give us like running boards. So we have extra room in case we need to put our feet down. So naturally the first thing we're gonna do is drill a bunch of holes every so often, about every three feet. Basically, these are just one inch nuts and bolts. Line up my hole, put this through. Tighten my nut on the other side, and that's about it. Now for drilling these holes through in the first place, I used a hammer drill, like a plug-in electric drill, because uh, it saves me a lot of time just using a better drill. Now we're just gonna lie down. Again, I used some two by sixes because of how far this hole stuck out. I think two by fours, it would have been a little bit too far out. I wanted to have as much support as possible. So use a two by six so I could tuck it all the way in and uh, the hole would be more centered than if you use a two by four. And then for knowing where to drill the hole, literally I just put the wood across and was like, sharpied it from the bottom going up to mark it. And then just turned it over, drilled my holes, put the one place. All right, so quick update. I should have mentioned earlier, put your bolts that way and your nuts this way. Then you get the wood nice and close. And then once you've drilled your holes, you can just drop this through. Before you can get these adapters that make your drill fit a socket bit. And it makes the job a lot quicker. They're like $5, I'll link to them on Amazon. Check this out. Done. All right, so here's a finished setup. Basically gonna go up this ramp. Now, if you didn't have more ramps, you could just use the same ramp from up there, down here, 
up this one, now this is nice and wide. This has gone from being about 24 inches on the inside to all the way across being about 35, 36 inches. So we gained like about almost a foot. That's pretty good. sweet. Up to here and inside we go. All right, so the first thing that we do is we send a text to whoever's home just saying, if you hear a bang, come help. And I kill this just to not get any like exhaust inside the house. But basically, well, it's actually more awkward with a helmet on. Usually I do this no helmet because I can see better. Okay. Lots of room. So that's pretty much it. Um, I know it's not much, but it's the best I can do. My gift is my ramps, and this is for you. <laughs> so on bike that size, the side rails are kind of overkill, um, at least for me. But if you guys are just getting started, you might want to do it. I've used this setup for bringing bigger bikes in the house, like uh, Moto Guzzi's, Ducati's, I've brought like a Panigale as well as a Monster in my house before. I've brought a couple Sportsters in the house. Um, this kind of setup is perfect for that. I will post a link to the hardware that I used underneath the uh, video in the description box. And what else? If you like this video, if you found it helpful, please hit that like button. Let's YouTube know to suggest this to other people. And uh, please hit subscribe if you want to see more. That's it. That's what I do. I try and help motorcyclists out. All right, ride safe guys. Peace.